I'ma love you like you wanna be, baby Girl, you drive me, you drive me, yeah Like a brand new S-Class Mercedes Like you want me Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome to Culture News. It's a pleasure to be today on iTunes Radio. I have on the phone the very talented T. McRae. He has a great website. Check it out. It's T-M-C-C-R-A-E, musicnow.com. And since you are listening to us on iTunes, go right away to purchase his music. We're going to play at the end of the interview one of his new tracks. Mr. T. McRae, how are you today? I'm good. I'm good. You know, I'm, I'm, I can't complain. I'm just doing what I love. You know, it's a beautiful day in New York City, about 75 degrees. So it's getting, it's heating up. You know, spring is here now. So Exactly. Know, and, and, and the good time, the good time has come for us to listen to music that literally smells the spring and the summer, a.k.a. your music. So now uh, I would love to know what aspects of creating a record do you enjoy the most? Well, I, I I really love you know the actual the 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 process of actually you know because usually I mean I, I used to write everything on my own. I used to write the lyrics and, and 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 the music myself, and I still write. But I I I consider myself first a singer and second a writer. You know, and uh, for the last couple of projects, I've been kind of more so putting my faith in putting, you know, just giving the job to people who are, who are accredited writers or um, singer songwriters, um, specifically songwriters, because, you know, you know, I, I feel like I've wasted, you know, I wasted some, some time, a little bit of money um, <laughs> with certain records that did not come out the way that I really wanted it. So right now I'm kind of like stepping back and letting the writers, the, the, the really bona fide songwriters really write my music in. You know, we kind of agree on the writing. I, I have done some co-writing with the last three singles that I've released, Love Bob, um, um, It's Just Us, and uh, my new single that just dropped actually today, um, April 23rd, uh, called Treat You Better. Um, but I, I'm doing a little bit of writing, but I'm mostly kind of kind of like sitting back and letting the writer-writers really do the, the songwriting and let me do the singing. Um, but I, I love the process of like when I – when a producer brings a record to me and, and I fall in love with that track and I fall in love with that music, the process of, of actually taking that track and making it my own, because oftentimes like it'll be, it'll come to me as a demo track with someone else singing it. So I always go, wow, I'm inspired by this record, but wow, I, I can imagine what I can do with it or, you know, and, and turn it in, make it my own. So I, I love that aspect of recording music. And, and indeed, and, and I just want to balance on what you said regarding uh, you know, you did a couple of records before, but you know, it, it's still part of you, you know, it's still part of your mm -hmm. evolution as an artist and, and so humble of, of, from you to say that. And I really want to say that it is so beautiful Thank to you. hear it from you because, uh, you know, uh, Leonardo da Vinci, you. you know, he did many sketches before he did La Gioconda, you know, <laughs> so Mona Lisa, you, you know. So, so yeah. I, I'm sure that you, uh, that, that there is more coming. But really, uh, t tell us about this song, Love Pop. This is really a wonderful, wonderful yes. track. Uh, tell yes. us who wrote it. How? What was the inspiration behind that song? Absolutely, and I thank you for saying that. You know, I, you know, I just have, you know, I think, you know, as an artist, you have to be honest. You know, for me, I, you know, when I started, I wanted, you know, I started doing a lot of writing on my own. But then I was like, okay, you know. You gotta have to know. You have to know your strengths, and you have to know where you, the areas where you're more, where you're a little more weaker. And you know, as you know, in this industry, you want to be able to surround yourself with people who are really talented. So, yeah, that that was pretty much why I decided to kind of like step back from the from the writing aspect of it so much. You know, I'm still doing writing, but I'm kind of letting the the, the um, accredited accredited writers really write my music and, and that kind of gives me a peace of mind where I don't have to focus so much on the writing. But um, as, re as it relates to Love Bop, uh, I actually, the producer of that, uh, Love Bop, his uh, name is uh, Martin J. Prosper, a.k.a. Um, Mighty Mouse, which is, 
Um, but he's a you know he's a great guy, very talented, super talented, Grammy nominated. Um, he's um had some placements with Drake, and he's done some had some placements with um actually Fox's Empire, the show Empire. And you know he's a you know he's a very talented guy. So I've been pretty much sticking with him for the last three records. Um, Love Bop, it's um, um, it's just us, and also my latest uh, release that actually uh, released today, the twenty third, Treat You Better. And he basically wrote all the – he, uh, another uh, great writer and producer by the name of David Wade. And I did a little bit of writing on each of the records myself, but I kind of – again, I kind of stepped back and, and allowed them to really be the writers for, for the lyrics um, and, uh, and uh, production of the music. Um, but, but, yeah, he's a, great, uh, he's a great writer, and he wrote Love Bop. And basically Love Bop is about, you know, someone who's like, you know, they've never really been in love before. They kind of have more of a rougher edge. But uh, they met they met a person they met a girl they met a person that they love um, that really kind of uh, inspired them to want to be less uh, become a lover you know inspired them to really open their heart so it's about like you know wow you know I used to be a person that was more like just you know didn't believe in love but now I believe, now that I met you I do believe in love so that's basically the premises of the of uh, of Love Bob. Wow, you know, one thing that we can feel with you is, is that we can feel with you. Sorry, it's really the end cell also. <laughs> uh, but one thing we can really feel with you is the intelligence that there is behind all your artistry. Uh, this is Thank so you. so nice to hear. Um, and and you know what, we feel it from the very first bar of your of your music, the intelligence of the artist because you have great singers out there, but. The ones that really have such an intelligence, such as yourself, who can talk so, oh, thank um, you. you know, with Likewise. the humility of, of your music, but also looking at it the way you do is absolutely wonderful. So now I can already feel the audience that they're literally boiling to the idea to listen to this song. So we're going to listen to that song. We really appreciate to have you today on iTunes Radio, uh, my dear T. McRae. Please check his website. It's a T M C Cray C R A E T McRae Music Now dot com. Check him out, and of course, listen to his music on Apple Music and purchase his music on iTunes. Right around the corner, more music to come today on iTunes Radio. David Story wrote today on the phone. Stay tuned. Drive me, you drive me, yeah, like a brand new S class. 
nice Mercedes like you want me. I'ma love you like you wanna be, baby. Girl, you got me. 